Hi, my name is Dan Piekaj. I'm the head of healthcare and life sciences at DataArt. The healthcare industry is a very risk adverse industry. And when it comes to technology, they're not going after the latest, greatest cutting edge technology. They're actually waiting for other industries to test out technology and, and they're choosing to adopt the things that are tried and true. Today there's literally hundreds of thousands of applications that you can download for your mobile phone that'll teach you about different aspects of healthcare, monitor your glucose uh, readings, take you through a different exercise program, or even be able to monitor your heart rate in time. The mobile phone will be the center point of how patients navigate th throughout the healthcare system. Patients need help to understand what the next step in the patient journey is. And mobile applications with smart AI assistance built into them that can actually interact with the patient at a click of a button, ask the patient what's currently going on, understand the chief complaint and the symptoms the patient have, and then analyze the severity of the condition and actually choose the right path for the patient. To lower costs, what we want to do is shorten the time it takes to actually provide that first point of care to the patient when they identify the fact that they have some conditions. So today, if I get sick and then I have to call my primary care physician and I find out they don't have an opening until next week, the amount of time it takes between now and me to see my doctor and get the proper care, if we can shorten that with technology by immediate access to a doctor through telemedicine or things like this, that's where we're going to see a reduction in cost because we're going to actually speed up the process of delivering the right care to the patient. The truth is that whether it's the electronic health record, the pharmaceutical company running a clinical trial, or the individual, they all feel that they own the data. And the sharing of the data and the security of the data is a problem. This is where technologies like blockchain can actually move the sovereignty of the data back to the patient and actually allow the patient to determine in real time who has access to their data, whether or not the patient wants to monetize their data and sell it to a company running clinical trials or doing cancer research or maybe even donate it. So things like blockchain technology, it's a foundational technology that'll change the way electronic health data can be managed, but it's, it's not a solution to just one problem. It, it's something that'll in essence, kind of change the whole healthcare system if we want to.